A key hearing is scheduled Monday in an ongoing lawsuit over how the state handles children in foster care. Lawyers for some of those children are asking the judge to hit Texas with an extreme penalty. The legal battle has been going on for more than a decade. The state has already been ordered to pay fines for not meeting requirements outlined by a federal judge. Some of the complaints focus on how the state handles children without placement. Critics point to kids being housed in hotels, medications not being properly managed, and a slow response to abuse allegations. Now the judge is being asked to put parts of the foster care program in receivership. So what does that mean and how would it affect Texas children in the state's care? For Insight, we're joined by Bob Garrett, Austin Bureau Chief for the Dallas Morning News. Welcome. Good to have you here. Thanks, Josh. So you've been covering this story for years. What are the main problems that have led up to tomorrow's hearing? Well, the biggest problem, if you had to point to just one, is the children that we used to sleep in CPS offices, and that was uh, prohibited by the legislature, but they stay in hotels or motels or churches or makeshift settings babysat 24 hours a day, seven days a week by CPS workers. Uh, and that is straining those workers, as you can imagine. Uh, I think about 40% of them, uh, according to the, the judge's monitors, are, are spending 35 hours or more a month on just this sort of babysitting child watch duty, uh, rather than doing their normal jobs, which is to be the, 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 the eyes and ears for these kids uh, making sure they're safe and, deal, and being their advocates in court. The judge in this case has ordered the state to take action before. Have her orders led to any changes? I think they have. I mean, I think even the uh, children's lawyers and the, the judge's monitors acknowledge there have been a lot of improvements, but uh, there's uh, about a half dozen areas they say uh, Texas has just been recalcitrant and slow and they're demanding that Texas get popped. And we've talked about some of the problems. How does the state defend itself? Well, the state, of course, under Greg Abbott as attorney general, fought this uh, lawsuit tooth and nail, tried to get it killed, did not succeed, knocked out about half of the judge's remedy about five years ago uh, on appeal to the uh, appellate court in New Orleans. Uh, it, for a while, the Governor Abbott tried to play along and say, OK, we will comply. But earlier this year, Josh, he went to a much different strategy hiring Gibson, Dunn and Crutcher, uh, the wife of one of the Fifth Circuit judges, uh, gave them a $7 million basic amount of a bar tab, you might call it, uh, and said, let's, let's uh, fight this more and see if we can get out of this lawsuit. So that's the drama is these, in other states, these suits have, have lasted, they can last decades. This one is, you know, 14 years, going on 14 years old. And so that's the, uh, the, the state is saying, first of all, the states should not be interfered with by a federal judge. And secondly, that we've gotten better. Now, lawyers for the children are asking for parts of the foster care program to be put into receivership. We, uh, what does that actually mean? I mean, that's a term that I don't think a lot of people were uh, familiar with that they haven't been following this for that 14 year saga that you're talking about. Well, uh, you know, receiverships usually in a bankruptcy of a private company to take charge of the assets. In this instance, it would be appointees of the federal judge, Janice Graham Jack, who would actually run parts of the foster care program. That's pretty unprecedented. It's not clear if she's going to do that. Only one place has it happened before, Washington, D.C., back in the 1990s. Any indication of what to expect on Monday? Well, I think we're going to be there all week, and the, the children's lawyers are going to put on a bunch of witnesses, and the state is going to put on even more witnesses. So it's going to be kind of a mini trial over whether the state of Texas should be held in contempt of court for just dragging its feet on improving foster care. We'll see what happens. Bob Garrett, Dallas Morning News, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Hopes for a deal on border policy hit a roadblock on Capitol Hill. We must secure the border. There cannot be any equivocation about it. We dig deeper into the division behind the latest stalemate in Washington and how it's having an impact beyond the border. 